so close, can't deny Shut my eyes, love is blind I don't need to know All the way down in the hole You push me out of control When the lights are out your Why is it so freaking cold here in Pennsylvania, bro? It's like really cold. Um, I made it to the racetrack. Yesterday was my day of travel, which was quite the mess. I need to be on my plane in one minute when the door closes, and I'm still two stops away. This is not right now. I made it to Philadelphia, except they're telling me my bag's lost, which I kind of understand. I had like three minutes to get to my gate, but I'm in Philadelphia. I'm in Pennsylvania. Um, hopefully this weekend goes better than this travel day. So I still don't have my bag. Hopefully they bring it today or Cameron's going to try and pick it up when he flies in tonight. And I've gotten up to work I've got to get a bunch of stuff for all my videos this weekend and it's cold I don't I don't know I'm literally wearing my slippers a because I forgot my boots in dad and Heather's bedroom but it's cold this is ugh, ridiculous hello funny car Today we have a lot to get done. We need to get this car together because Cameron doesn't get in till late tonight, so this is the only car that's running today. But after Indy, we noticed that there was a small crack in the fuel tank, so Dad had the guys at Force fix it for him and get that taken care of. The fuel tank needs to go on, and the car needs to go back together. Steve, is there already a clutch in it? Looks like there's a clutch in it, so should be good to go. Part of me bridging the motor before each run is to kind of keep an eye on the numbers because that's going to help determine the compression. And once I've done it a few times, now that I know how to do it, keeping an eye on the numbers tells me, okay, maybe a piston got put in the wrong spot or whatever happened. So when I did the motor in Indy, I was doing a video about it, and I noticed that number eight is really low. Number eight is never usually that low compression and number one isn't usually that high so I'm going through and gonna recheck everything to make sure it's not wrong So oh, the way dad explained it to me, number eight is usually 10 under, so it is very different than all of the 240s and 245s and 230s. So we're gonna push number eight out so that dad can look at it and check it over just to make sure everything's good. Let's go. Round one of Scott Olivier. We got the fuel tank on the funny car. Everything's put together. They're working on changing pulleys. I need to uh, pack the parachutes real quick. So let's get that taken care of. So 
So after the last race, we noticed on Sunday when we were tearing everything apart that this one caliper had some fluid leaking out past the piston. Basically, just means that the seal in it was bad. So we sent these calipers back to uh, to Lamb, and we just had them rebuilt. So we got to put them back on the car, get the system rebled, and get everything ready to go up and run today. Okay, uh, I am just driving back in. The guy just delivered my bag for me, which is a huge, huge lifesaver. It had my gimbal for my camera in it, which is a very expensive piece of camera equipment that I am never going to check again. But I am now driving back because in like 20 minutes, we're going up to the lanes to run the funny car. Cameron doesn't get in until late tonight, so we're not running the dragster since we don't have a driver, but he'll be here tomorrow and he'll be doing everything that he does. I'm not sure how many runs we're planning on making with either car, but we're gonna go up and see if we can do our best tonight. How you doing, Mr. Tim? What's Hanging out, ready to go. Sure, we're gonna have a great weekend. It's already a great weekend. We're having fun drag racing with some beautiful people, and here we are, baby. Yes, sir. Dad just hopped in the car. We are second pair right lane. Uh, they are about to fire up the first pair, so this car is tuned up enough. All right, we're good to go. This, the car's tuned up enough to make it our first three second run, which that would be an awesome video title. Yeah, absolutely. Yes! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go, the car yeah, just ran a 402. Wow. It's not a three second run, but That's that is an excellent run. Back. For some reason, the rear end's locked up. That's not bueno. A little more. All right, a little more. Right on your belly. Stop right there. There it is, belly shot. All right. 
Okay, so what we were doing there is the car was like locked up after the run. They had to put it on dollies to move it over. I originally thought that the rear end was locked up, which n would not have been good. Thankfully, thankfully it wasn't. Uh, the drive, the clutch is just locked up. So dad had to pull the drive shaft out real quick to um, get it so that we can get back to the pit. It is going to make a lot of racket getting back, but um, it'll be all right. That will be the racket I was talking about. tell this sleeve's gonna need replaced because when you run your hand over it you can actually feel all those little grooves that you can kind of see down there in the sleeve i'm sure there's more sleeves that are going to need replacing but um that one is for sure gonna need replaced but that's the only one i can see right now we ended up replacing number six and number one number one was really bad really needed replacing we're gonna get a uh, everything cleaned up and we're gonna throw a new rack in and put it all back together that is a wrap on day one of Reading. Dad ran his career best mile an hour. He's never gone 315 in the funny car before, which is really freaking cool. Um, hopefully tomorrow we're gonna get like a 98 or 99 and break into that three second area. So that's the goal. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all those YouTube-y things, and never give up.